Welcome viewers to Mathematics Class 7, Lesson 2, Area. We are going to look at area of parallelograms and trapezia. Trapezia is the tour of the word trapezium. So that is our lesson today. And we have example number one here. This one is a parallelogram which has got a two opposite sides parallel to each other. Now, getting the area of a parallelogram, it's very simple. Area of a parallelogram is given by bear's length times height. Bear's length times height are together as area equals to bear's length times height. In another word, sometimes this base length confuses learners. In another word, you can just say length times height, as simple as that. Area. Now, we have got example number one here. We have got length 23, which is our length, and then we have this uh, dotted line given as our height. Height. So this one is height, this one is our height, and then this one is length. Uh, length and remember this line and this line is equal. So therefore our length is 23 and our height is 9. Therefore area of that figure is given by 23 times 9. 23 times 9 which is a 23 times 9. This one is 27 carry 2 uh, 18 18 20. So equals to 207, uh, 207 centimeter square, as simple as that. It's just length times height. And you must be keen because at times you can be given this uh, here and here, maybe here is 17 centimeters. If 17 and 23, make sure that the longest line or a line with the longest measurement or the biggest measurement, that's the length. We have example number two. Now, example number two, it is still trapezium, but this time you have been given here that two centimeter. You have also been given here, uh, you have been given here what? 42 centimeter, and you have been given here 26 centimeter, and we don't have the height. We don't have the, the height. So, therefore, we must look for the height first before we do what? Before we do the uh, area. Now you ask yourself if from here to here is 42, which is our length, same as applies to here to here, which must be 42. Therefore, you take 42, you take 42 minus that 2, which equals to 10 centimeter. So here is 10 centimeter. That is 10 centimeter. Then you have also learned about getting height and base of a, a rectangle using Pythagoras theorem. Now, this one is our height. Now we want to get that height. This one is our base, and this one is our height. I mean, this one is our uh, hypotenuse, the longest side. That one is our hypotenuse, the longest side. So, therefore, to get height, you are going to take longest side, 26 squared, then you minus. Uh, base 10 squared 26 squared minus 10 squared that one you know so 26 squared which will give you 676 minus 10 squared is 100 which will give you what 576 then you get the square root of that one the square root of 576 which will give you 24 the square root of 576 is 24 centimeter so that is our height we have got our height as 24 centimeter. I've said 24, uh, 24 centimeter. And length, our length remains 42. Our length remains 42. So therefore, area therefore is equal to uh, base length times height, which is 42 times 24. 42 times 24. Hey, okay. 42 times 24. 4 times 2, that is 8. 4 times 4, that is 16. 
2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times 4, that is 8. You add 8, 10 can run, then 10. So area, therefore our area is 1,008 centimeter square as the area of that regular. So in this one, I have shown you how you can get the height first before you do what? Before you get the area. Now, we go to, remember we're looking at pregrams at trapezium. We have summarized uh, pregrams. It's just base length that is height. Just take the length, you want to by the height, that's the area. Look at the area of trapezium. And area of trapezium, area of trapezium, we have two types of trapezium in this case. Right angle trapezium, which looks like that. Right angle trapezium, which looks like that. It has got those right angles. That's why it's known as right angle trapezium. Trapezium. So we have got these two parallel sides. Two, those two parallel sides. And then we have what you call isosceles trapezium. Isosceles trapezium, which looks like that. The two heights are the same. So this one is right angle trapezium. Right angle trapezium. Then this one is isosceles. Sorry. Isosceles trapezium. Isosceles trapezium. Those are the two types of trapezium that we have. And the, getting the area of the two is just the same formula. Now let us look at example one on how we can get the area of trapezium. Uh, this, we have this example. We have this uh, right angle trapezium 15, 27, 20, and 16. Area of a trapezium is given by, area of trapezium is given by a half times height, a half times height into bracket sum of parallel sides, sum of parallel sides, sum of parallel sides. Remember when you talk about parallel sides, you are talking about the two parallel sides, this one, the long short one and the longest one. So this one is abbreviated as area equals to a half times height into bracket A plus B. Where A and B represent the two parallel sides. So for example, in this case, you will take area equals to a half times our height is always this line. That is our height, or sometimes you can be given this one. This one is also height of that uh, right angle trapezium. So a half times 16 into bracket, our sum A is 15. And then B is 27. It's 27. So you, it is like uh, a half times 16 times 15 plus 27, you will get 42. So it's just like a half times 16 times 42. Two here, one, two here, eight. Therefore, you take eight times 42, it comes here by eight. 16 cut one, and 32, 33. So area of that trapezium equals to 336 centimeter square. That's example number one. Let's look at example two under trapezium. This one as an isosceles trapezium. We have got two parallel sides measuring 26 and 38 centimeter, and then the height is eight. Remember this height and this side is same. Now, if we have the height and we have got the two parallel sides, then getting the area of that figure becomes very easy. You just say area of a trapezium equals to a half times height times the sum of the parallel sides, A and B. So area equals to a half times our height is 8 and then our parallel side is 26 and that 8. So area equals to a half times eight times the sum of the parallel sides, that is 26 plus that eight becomes, becomes 64. Becomes 64. Okay. Therefore, two here one, two here 
4. So it becomes 4 times 64 times 4. 16, carry 1, uh, 24, 25. So it's equal to 256 uh, centimeter square as the area of that isosceles triangle. Now let's look at the last example of our uh, area of a trapezium. Uh, this example, you have been given area as 378 meters square. You have been given the two parallel sides, which represents 34 and 58 and 50 meters respectively, but you have not been given height. So your work is to look height. How are we going to look at the height? And remember, this one is a right angle trapezium. How are we going to look at that height? You write your formula, area of a trapezium is equal to a half times height times the sum of the two parallel sides. So therefore, area equals to a half times height, you have not been given, but you have been given the two parallel sides as 34 and 50 respectively. So therefore, and when you do that, you get 378 meters square as your area given there. So it's a half times height not given times 84, the sum of the two parallel sides, which gives you 378 meters square. In this case, two here, one, two there, 42. 42 times height, you get 42 H, which gives you 378. Divided by 42, divided by 40. Height equals to 6 here 7, 6 into that 6, into that 7, 6 because of that 6, then 18 into 18, 3. 7 here 1, 7 here 9. So our height is 9 meters. We bring here our 9 meters. Or else sometimes, now we have got our height as 9. Now we have 50 and 34 as one of uh, are the two parallel sides. But at times, you can also be asked to get one of the parallel sides. I will do that. So let us assume we have not been given that, we have not been given that form, but now we have 9, 50 and the area. Let's see how we can get the 34. So you write your formula, a half times height times the sum of the parallel sides. So you say a half times, now you have the height as 9 into A you don't have plus B you have 15, it will give you the area 378 meters square. So it is a half into 9 times A is 9 L plus 9 times 50 is 415, it will give you 378 meter square. Then 378 is a has a hidden one. The LCM of the denominators 2 and 1. The LCM is 2. So you give each part of the LCM times 2 times 2. This one and that one goes. So we have made 9a plus 450 is equal to this times 2. Uh, 378 times 2, you get 6. Uh, 5 and 1, 7. You get 756. You collect the like terms together, this for 50 when it comes there becomes minus. So you take 756 minus 450, what do we get? 603. So you say you have 9a equals to 306. Divide by 9, divide by 9. So we have made with a is equal to 9 into that, that is 3 because of 27. 23. 9 that 6, 4 meters. So we have come back to our parallel L, that 4 meters. That's how you can get height and one of the shorter sides, uh, one of the parallel sides respectively. Thank you very much.